right before mastering here, towards the end, I want to make sure this session is now prepped for the one stem bounce to then do the master in another session. So we've had three sessions today in this course. You don't always have to do things that way. Before I get to this end, I will talk briefly about you can do every single thing I've done today in one session if that's what you prefer. Yes, I've done that many times. I've done it this way many times. Um, I've mastered right here many times. I've mastered in another session. It's all about how you feel and where you are in the session. If you guys want to get it done here, if you're having CPU issues, there's so many different reasons. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, so what I need to do to prepare this now is make sure I'm giving headroom here on the ma on the master. I generally want negative six to negative ten is a sweet spot for me. So I'll use my gain tool to dial things down before I get to my master stage. Somewhere right there is good. That's feeling good where I have enough room to then apply um, a few more um, of my plugins that we're going to use here with FabFilter. But now just to show how I export it, just Command B, I always do a wave and I do 24-bit 44.1. If you guys are working in 48, by all means, you'll have that. And I'm doing no dither, no normalize. This is going to be straight. What's in here is a file I am going to be mastering. This is going to be called your pre-master file. Again, some guys will master right here which is fine, or you guys bounce it out. So now I'll just hit OK, and I can bounce it to my bounce folder here. Um, and then we'll bring it into another session here in a moment, and we can master it up. <laughs> 